Hey, welcome back to Scut's Draws. Well, during my live streams, chat demanded that I tell them of my nightmare commission stories from my years of experience freelancing art. So to start off, I will say I'm very, very lucky and most of the people I get to work with are wonderful and delightful and I enjoy getting to do what I do. For the first one, it was during the height of the My Little Pony fandom. I was in the first few years of doing commissions at that point, so when I was approached by a big artist, I was super excited to get to work with them and draw their OCs. So I walked into it being all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, charging a good old $100 for a two-character full shaded full background commission piece, which was not worth the ensuing back and forth. I invoiced them, they paid, uh, and then I started the work, and that's when everything started to fall apart. Uh, first it was editing the faces, it was shortening the muzzles and making them stubbier, and editing the body shapes, and editing the leg lengths, and as I sent draft after draft and got feedback, it was starting to wear on me, I was getting frustrated. Everything felt like micromanaging and adjustments that were excessive. Uh, and then I finally sent one work in progress where the reply I got back asked me if I could give them marshmallow who. And for those of you who don't know, uh, marshmallow hooves is the term given to the My Little Pony horses in that cartoony style without any details on their hoof. Right then knew that the entire time that this person had commissioned me, they did not commission me for my art style. They commissioned me to draw their characters in the My Little Pony art style. And at that point, I was done. If from the outset had been stated, I could have more easily delivered that with a lot less frustration and edits on both ends. I actually ended up refunding this customer and to this day is the only customer that I have had to refund. I gave them everything that I had made thus far and I offered them their money back, which they declined. They let me keep the money for my time. So in that way, it wasn't the end of the world, but it certainly was the beginning of a terms of service where additional edits past a certain point require additional payment so that I'm compensated fairly for my time. So, you know, you live, you learn, and uh, you find how to not run into those things again in the future. And this next one isn't quite as bad, but to me, it's still a nightmare. My integrity and my reputation as an artist, when you freelance, that's everything. So I am very studious about keeping track of invoices, making sure I stay in touch with commissioners. And so the worst thing ever is the fact that there are two people out there in the world who I owe art to and I cannot deliver it to them for I lost contact with them during the great Tumblr apocalypse when Tumblr banned not safe for work and everyone basically fled the platform because it was unusable and was blocking pictures of bread because it thought it was butt cheeks uh, and couldn't actually tell what was what. Hands were getting blocked for fingers being obscene. <laughs> Uh, so it was it was good times, but unfortunately, due to that whole exodus and everyone going to different platforms and potentially changing usernames, I was unable to get in contact with those two people, and it, I lay awake at night sometimes, and I go, I wish I could draw that person their sketch. And you know, it uh, if they ever approached me and they were like, hey, I'm so and so, and you owed me this, I would be like, you're dang right, I do, and. And they would go right on my queue. The only reason that these are lost to time because I cannot contact the people, but they are not lost in my heart. <laughs> The fact that I've been doing this for 10 years and it took a platform shift for me to lose track of anybody is pretty good. Invoices rock, honestly. That's how I keep track of everything. <laughs> All right, and lastly, this is the most recent one to happen to me, actually. I can safely say that this is the worst commission experience that I ever had. It started out all fine and dandy, like they all do, uh, and a friend referred someone to me who was looking for an artist for some game art. So they were like, hey, I know an artist 
So we got in contact, we spoke about some of the art details, and he said it was for a game. I sent examples, and we talked about style and price range, and I was pretty much given a lot of artistic freedom in the result, so long as it fit the needed criteria. I will be honest, I originally made a misstep by giving a very low quote before taking into account character complexity, or if this was a game for private use or for sale. Ale. I did correct myself and ask, and upon learning the plan was to sell the game, uh, I informed him that the first commission would be at this rate that we had agreed on, but the others would be higher going forward since it was for commercial use, which absolutely always should be at a higher price than art for private use, either at a higher rate, royalties, or some compensation based off of the fact that there is profit being made off of the art by the person who commissioned it. So I chose to draw the assassin character that they had discussed. There was no way that I was going to draw an armored paladin for $50. So he knew what he wanted me to draw, but he didn't seem to know what he needed from it as far as card art, like the format, the text, placement, the frame. Uh, so I tried to explain what I needed to know in order to get art that would work for his game. And I said that I usually take payment up front. This is where I made my second mistake. I said we could do 50-50 if he wanted half now and half on completion. Foreshadowing. I asked about any deadlines, and I was told that there was no rush. I gave an estimated time of finishing around the end of October, so I invoiced at the beginning of the month. I sent a few rough poses for them to choose from the next day, and I got on my way. During that first half of October, I painted about 50% of the project. I waited until about two thirds of the way through the month before I got a reply. I had to check in, and then I got an approval to continue. Uh, and as soon as I did, I got the go ahead. I detailed the character's face, and I sent another work in progress, but I had to inform that that due to some IRL circumstances, a sudden move, that my output would be temporarily stalled. We're real artists and no one else can do the work for us. Uh, the best thing you can do is if something like this comes up, keep in touch with your commissioners. So that's what I did. There was going to be a delay. I informed them. They replied, it's all good. I've got time. So I deal with my move and I prioritize getting his art done. And I send something about 90% of the way finished, getting last touches around the middle of November. I've heard absolutely nothing negative at this point. So so come the end of November, I deliver the watermarked file completed. <laughs> and then the bombshell moment that I didn't see coming. <laughs> he tells me he really likes it and he doesn't know how to word it without sounding rude. But since it took me almost two months to complete the picture, he didn't feel confident that I could do the remaining art in a reasonable amount of time. He told me I was very talented and he was sad he would not be moving forward with me. You can keep my first half of the money as payment for your attempt, and I will not need the final copy nor the rights to the piece, as I will not be using it for my card game. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Record scratch. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, let me start this by saying I am a pretty understanding person, and while I have always had a wait time to some degree, I have always delivered and my customer service is pretty stellar. So, when I say I chewed him out, I mean as kindly as I could, I told him if he had felt this way, that I would have liked to have known instead of spending time on art that he had no intention of paying for. Not wanting to use it does not get my time back. Back. What was rude was letting me finish before denying payment. I told him it would have been polite to have addressed this during any of my check-ins or to let me know he had a deadline or a turnaround in mind. I asked him not to waste an artist's time like that again. I really do understand missing deadlines being a big deal, but at no point was I given any indication. In fact, I had been told twice that time wasn't an issue. Communication needs to go both ways between commissioner and artist. And so there were multiple lanes of opportunity that he could have let me know that this was taking too long, that there
there was actually a deadline or an overarching timeline he wanted to work on. So I was very thrown off and it was very upsetting. But fortunately, I have the best community ever. I'm happy to say that while that bummer of a situation had fizzled out, I offered the image like a your character here to my commissioners and someone paid me to finish it. I was so, so happy it ended up being appreciated by somebody in the end. I really enjoyed the art and I put a lot of effort into it. It was so sad the situation around it was so unfortunate and dumb. But anyways, are you ready for the wild twist? I promised you, and if you stayed this far, I am so ready to M. Night Shyamalan you. Subscribe if you're enjoying the tale so far. Alright, not too long after, I was staying with some friends for a bit. One of them was explaining his other friend was stressing out because a deal had just fallen through with an artist. And the problem was, he really needed this game to go through, and he was complaining that he couldn't afford the art to make it happen? Which is so crazy! to me. So I asked my friend, was it so and so? And he goes, yeah, how do you know him? And in some kind of small world horror moment, I said, because I'm the artist he couldn't afford. So TLDR recap, I was gaslit by a commissioner who couldn't afford my prices, but told me that it was because I didn't complete the job fast enough on an unspecified timeline. Then I painted a pony. No, seriously. The image ended up with Anthro Sunset Shimmer sneaking into the castle at night. So some of these had a happy ending, some of them not so much. I can't say I wish I had more nightmare stories for you because uh, like I said before, my commissioners are a delight to work for and uh, I enjoy what I do immensely. So if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and give me a comment. Maybe you've had a commission nightmare of your own. And as always, thanks for watching. If all you can do is hang out and watch, that means the world to me. If you want to help support more videos like these, check my links for whatever support I have listed. Take care, have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye!